Hey chickadees, it's Wednesday. Today I'm actually working on two completely new projects which I know is not the best way to do things but they're two things that I kind of want to get done before Shambhala. So we have another um, Simplicity and American Duchess stays. It is 8162 if you can see that. So that's all cut out, the teal and the fashion fabric that I'm using and I'm actually using a really cute upholstery fabric with these really delicate little blue flowers on which I think will look really really nice and then I am making a waistcoat corset in the same upholstery fabric this is just the mock-up um, so it was all cut out it's based on my firefly pattern but I made a sellotape um, form a while ago and I cut up half of that to kind of get the shape around my shoulders and things like that so I'm going to make up the mock-up and just see how it fits I'm already thinking in my head that I'm going to change the shape to how I've done it here I've originally designed it similar to a stays where you have just the strap starts at the back goes to the front and then ties with a bit of ribbon but i think i want actually a more waistcoat style um with the front so a connected strap but we'll see how that fits mix any alterations and go from there so i've also redone my board with the main projects or the three main ensembles that i'm working on and then a kit for LARP because I've been encouraged to go to Empire LARP in September so I need to make an outfit for that I don't know if I'm gonna get everything done in the time that I wanted to but we'll see um, hopefully I do and then I also wanted to show you how cute all my Rose and Hubble fabric is looking in my pile of fabric here and then we're just going to ignore the parlor fabric in that general area as well. It's It looked so neat when it was first done and I had a little bit of space and I was so happy. I thought, oh, actually I don't have as much fabric than I do. But that, that, that soon, you know, was wrong. Very, very wrong. So this is the mock-up of the waistcoat corset and I'm actually kind of surprised how well it came out. I don't know why. I know how to sew and do mock-ups, but I'm still surprised every single time. So I'm going to cut the shoulders straps here to put a seam in here. Um, and then the only change, other change I'm going to make is just to take this up higher on the side. Um, and then just smooth it out around there. So kind of using this point, I obviously put this point in here for a reason. Just carrying that down there um, and then probably add maybe an inch to the underarm. And then those are the, actually the only alterations to make. The This one does seem to be kind of flattening my boobs a bit but I think that's just because I did the bony channels really quickly and you know it's not perfect but I'm really really happy with how this one's come out so I'm just going to make the alterations to the pattern and yeah then cut it out of the fashion fabric and the cotil. I might need to order some more cotil actually because I don't think I have enough but we'll deal with that when we come to it. Um, I can always get on with the stays whilst I'm waiting for the cotil to arrive.
Besties, it's Thursday. As you've seen, I've actually been quite productive today. I have altered the waistcoat corset and cut it out of cotille and the fashion fabric. I still need to cut the front and back panels out of cotille. I just didn't have a big enough piece left to do it because it's got the straps. So I need to order some stuff from Vina Carver. I need to order boning and a busk as well. So I'm just going to do a big order tonight. I have also marked on all the boning channels on the stays. I'm not sure if you can see them on the camera. They're only paint. Done with pencil. I've done boning casings. And now I've just got to sew everything on. So you'll probably see a little time lapse of that. It's Friday and I actually did more than I thought I would yesterday. We were very productive in the end. So when I left you I had stitched on all the boning channels and then I stitched all of the panels together in the cotille and the fashion fabric and then I stitched them together at the front and the back seams and what I'm going to do now is just give them a quick iron to just press the seams out. I was moving around and Sir Galahad thinks something is going on so he was suddenly very very active but now he's calmed down a bit. Hello! He's so cute isn't he? So cute! <gasps> yeah! Do you think something's going on? <laughs> He's thinking, oh, is it food? No, you're fed on Monday. But food! Oh. There he is. He's cute. I've pressed all the seams out and pressed it flat. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put basting stitch next to the burning channels. It would be easy to put it through the centre of the burning channel, but there's quite a lot of fabric, or at least there's two layers of cotille and then the upholstery fabric, so it's a bit tough to do. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick basting stitch in between the channels, just to keep everything in place, so that I can then stitch over the burning channels again and attach the fashion and the strength layer together. Hey chickadees, it's Wednesday and I'm back in the studio. Yesterday I was helping James and Harry with Shambhala art stuff and I had I did film a small bit here and there but I'm probably going to put it in my next vlog which is going to be the actual Shambhala vlog. So I won't show any of that stuff to you now. But today I am going to be carrying on working on my stays. On Monday I got everything double stitched and I didn't 
get the eyelets or anything in there because I could feel my eyes start to just, you know, not focus anymore just with the constant lines. So I called it a day after I had done the um, double stitches here. I've still got to go to another shop, the other shop, and see if they have a binding in the light blue colour. I also got my order from Vina Carver yesterday. If I can get it out one handed. So there's my cotil there. I find this stuff isn't quite as stiff as the stuff I used to get from Fabricland, but only very, very slightly. It's obviously still thick and it's still cotil. But it's just, there's just a little bit more kind of flow to it. But unfortunately, Fabricland don't stock the cotillon anymore, which is a tad annoying because I could just, you know, have a quarter of an hour walk and get some cotillon if I ever ran out. But now I have to order it, which is a pain. I also got the bones and the busk for both corsets. The one annoying thing though is they were out of stock of the synthetic whalebone and this is all I have left so I, I don't think I'm going to get both things finished for Shambhala because they said that the new stock of Synthetic so whalebone was due on the, due in on the twentieth, and I'm heading up to Shambhala on the twenty first. So I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to concentrate on the stays, and I'll just have to finish the waistcoat corset once I come back, which is a bit annoying. But oh well, you can't help these things, and you know I shouldn't have left it till. A couple of weeks before Shambhala, before deciding to make two corsets. That's my own fault. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Putting the eyelets in and then I will be cutting the boning and praying that I get at least the stays out of it. I don't know. Wish me luck. I didn't manage to get everything boned, which... <sighs> is a real pain in the butt because I would hope to at least wear one of these things to Shambhala but things happen I've got the last three bones of each side of the stays to do I have put in all the eyelets at the back the front and then the straps as well but I've also lost the pattern piece for the straps which is slightly annoying so I kind of just guessed where they went but that shouldn't be too much of a hassle it is five o'clock so I'm going to just cut out the front and back panels of the cotil layer for the waistcoat corset and then I'm going to go home and call it a day. Hey chickadees, it's Thursday and I thought I'd show you a couple of goodies that I picked up just after my shift at the Muggle Drop. So this is the olive binding that I looked at last time and I popped on Instagram just after my shift and Fabricland were having a 15% off coupon day so I thought you know what, just kind of bite the bullet and go and pick this binding up and I really, I do like it with these stays and this material and it does kind of go with the middle of these flowers and then for the lacing I also picked up some coordinating um, ribbon and this goes really well with the stems of the flowers so I'm actually really really happy with how this turned out and I was just going to leave the stays obviously as I didn't have enough boning but last night James was just like we'll have a look around and ended up on a website called So Curvy which 
it's one I've heard of but I've never used before and they had some boning and they actually did it in meter lengths which was really useful so I got three meters and then they have an option between first and second class postage and then tracked and non-tracked so I did first class tra uh, non-tracked so hopefully it should be with me tomorrow and I had a really good experience on the website so I might use them in future obviously it's useful having a big 25 meter roll um, but sometimes when you just want one little bit for a project like getting it in meters is can be useful as well so that's what I picked up and what I am going to work on today is I'm probably going to so one edge of the binding on so probably the top actually not the top probably the bottom and then I'm going to leave the top for when the boning gets here and I've put the bones in uh, I'm going to probably take the straps off and just cut them down a tiny bit because as we found out with like the truly Victorian bodice my back is quite short and on this, the first set of stays I made the straps do have a tendency to fall off my shoulders so I'm probably going to take the straps off cut them down by about an inch and then put them back on once the boning has got here because there's boning tunnels here which need to be filled before the straps get put on and then I am going to try and put together as much as I can for my waistcoat corset I say that every day but I can spend a longish time here today um, like I do have a shift at the muggle job tomorrow but it's my last day before Shambhala and I'm so excited and I'm gonna be getting the bus in and everything so I don't really need to be particularly awake tomorrow so probably gonna be a bit later maybe seven o'clock ish but I don't want it to be too dark when I get home because the cycle paths I cycle down have had a couple of attacks lately which is quite scary to think about um so I don't really want to be a lone female cyclist on these cycle paths so I don't want to be too late it's probably seven o'clock ish I've got plenty of snacks plenty of food um so yeah that's the plan for today and then depending on how much I get done today depends on whether I'll come in tomorrow but yeah I will keep you updated on what I'm getting on with and how I'm doing and I'll see you in a bit I have done the binding and I don't find it too fiddly to do it with a machine you do risk ending up with a few kind of bits that get caught like that but you can just unpick that and then go in with your just with a hand stitch just to fix that or I think what I did on my first one was I did the machine bit on the wrong side and then hand finished on the nice side so it looks nice from outside and if you do get any catches then that's all on the inside so that's that done I've also cut the straps down I also found the pattern piece for the straps on the floor which I'm sure I looked there and then when I was packing up yesterday it was just there on the floor so that's good at least I found it so that's just going to stay with that all I need to do now is wait for the boning to arrive or what I do need to do is just wait for the boning I, I love this color I love olive green actually it's not a color I wear very often but actually it's really really nice my mum's favorite color is green so that's going to be kept to the side and then I am just going to put together the waistcoat corset I also got these from Poundland and I'm not sure about them like, I love M&Ms I could eat them till the cows come home but I thought I'd try them and they're all right but I'm not a fan of like caramel that gets stuck in your teeth like crunchies and stuff so 
it was nice to try them but I think I'll go back to the crispy ones. They're my favourite. I've actually been really productive this evening. I think it's probably because I've been listening to podcasts, so I've just kind of got down and got into it. So this is the front panel. The busk and the other side of the busk are all in. And then I have put together two panels. So this is the side and the side front or side back anyway yeah so it's that one and then I've put the bus two and bus three together I'm gonna do the bone casing slightly different usually I would just sew down the seam allowance and put the bones in but I want to try having a kind of a strip of cotille hang on let me get so isn't going to work but basically imagine a strip of cotille like that on the bias and then stitching it in the middle and then stitching it on the side so the boning channel is a sort of a second line defense of keeping the panels together I mean I double stitch my seams anyway so I mean I've, I've never had an issue of seams coming apart but I just thought I'd try a new way of doing boning channels so what I'm gonna do is probably take this home, give them a quick whip stitch just to keep both layers in place and then tomorrow come bring them back here and just stitch them together. So I'm gonna go home now because well, I'm not tired, we're just, you know, it's seven o'clock, I wanna go home. So I will see you guys tomorrow probably. Hey chickadees, it's Friday and I am so excited because I've now got 13 days off of the muggle job and that means it's nearly time for Shambhala. I'm really sorry if it's really loud, it's absolutely peeing down outside. I got totally drenched um, walking to the studio. Look, didn't even need to wash my hair this morning. I've had to take my cardigan off as well because it's drenched and yeah. Where my random piece of fabric that's very blankety. Ooh. Do you know how I was saying that Vina Carver didn't have the whalebone in stock? So I ordered it off So Curvy? Well, if I had checked my email before I ordered it off So Curvy, I would have seen that Vina Carver got the whalebone restocked earlier than they thought. So now I just have a lot of whalebone. Which is actually quite useful because they've been making a lot of bodices and waistcoats and stuff like that. So you can never have enough whalebone. Hopefully both sets of whalebone will be delivered today. I'm going to get as much as I can done with this. And then probably take it home to finish it at home. So I gave everything a stitch last night just to keep all the layers in place. And I'm just going to carry on constructing the corset. Thought I'd just kind of update you guys. I have sewn all the seams together. So it is one side of the corset now. And I'm going to cut some strips of cotille like I was showing you yesterday. And get the boning channels sewn down. I'm also probably going to put a lining on this corset because I've put a lining on the busk panel and the back panels as well but I'm probably not gonna get this finished by Shambhala I don't know it's kind of I might I might not uh, it's not the end of the world if I don't doing the eyelets is not my favorite job nor is the boning um, and at the moment I've got a bit of a swollen finger there this is my own fault I've been picking and I don't want to overdo my wrist. I'm just going to do as much as I can. I am still going to take the stays home though and finish those at home. But I just thought I'd kind of update you guys. It's four o'clock now and the last bus from literally just outside my studio is 6.50. So I'm going to stop about 10 past six, do a tidy up, make it nice and clear. So when I come back in after Shambhala, you know, it's not a mess it's nice and clean and stuff like that so that's the plan and I'll get on with cutting some 
Good job. All the burning channels are in. I have done slightly wider ones around the bust. I remember to do that to fit the bone um, ends in. And then the four at the back here are slightly thinner just for the whalebone. And it's actually looking really, really nice. I still got to take all the threads out, but I can do that later. Clean up all the edges. I'm probably not going to get it finished. It's five. It's not five. It's six. Um, so I'm going to start doing a bit of cleaning. And yeah, that's definitely where I'm going to leave it today. So I hope you enjoyed what I've done lately and keep watching